In today's video, I'm going to explain you the workflow of editing from the beginning to the end, from arranging the clips to color correction, everything will be involved in this tutorial. So it's going to be a long tutorial. So stick to it if you want to actually learn how you can work fast. So watch the whole video so that you can actually understand how you can improve your efficiency and work faster. All right, so we'll start by importing our clips into the timeline. Now, this is my main clip. It includes the video as well as the audio. Okay. Uh, but the issue here is that the audio is recorded with my microphone here, the phone microphone. I don't have an external microphone. So I use the computer's mic to record the audio. So basically this is the audio that is recorded by the computer. So I'm going to import it separately. All right. Now the easiest way to sync both the clips is that when you are starting recording, like right now also, if you see the video is getting, the audio is getting recorded. The best thing you can do is just clap like this. So basically if you see, it gives a spike in the audio. All right. You can see the spike here. So this is exactly what I did. And if you see here, uh, yeah so basically right now in this there is a clap and here also there is a clap so if you just sync this the whole audio will be in sync all right so now to sync this it's very easy just go on top of any one of them drag this here now you can see both are uh, now you can see that both are now you can see that both are sync all right and uh, now you can just drag the video over here so now if you unmute this and if you play this If you're having a trouble syncing them, just try to off this and then you can sync it perfectly. All right. So now they're in perfect sync. Now we don't need to do anything. All right. Now what I can do is I can just delete the phone audio because I'm going to use the computer's audio. I drag this up. All right. Now what I do for splitting a clip is that I basically have this keyboard shortcut here. Let me show that to you. All right. So if you go to your keyboard customization under the application split clip, or you can just type split here. I have uh, given the command H for splitting a clip. As a result, what happens is now let's say I want to cut both the audio in the video. I just need to press H and I don't have to use any other uh, thing like a blade or something. I can just click H. All right. Now I'm just going to edit the whole video. I'll be deleting all the necessary part and only taking the main part. So yes, let me do that quickly. Uh, and another tip after deleting this, let's say now this is the waste segment. Now, if you just press delete, what's going to happen is that this space will still remain, but we don't want that. So what I do is I select both, the, both of this and press shift delete. As a result, the empty space also gets deleted. All right, now I'm done editing most of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the empty spaces because generally whenever you speak during a voiceover, there are some empty spaces like when you breathe and stuff. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the empty spaces. Let me give you an example. All right. Now if you see across this area, there is no volume. Basically I'm not speaking anything and it's an empty gap. So to increase the pace of the video, I'm going to delete all these empty spaces. I'll also show you one more empty space. Like if you see here, watching movie, wherever, wherever there are breaks, I'm going to delete all those empty spaces. All right. So yes, I'll quickly finish that too. Now I'm done with editing all the raw clips and now I'm going to add in effects and the music. Now once you're done editing the whole thing, your next step is to export the video and I'm going to explain you why. So I have rendered the video. Our next step is going to be adding the subtitles. So I will be using weed.io for that and I'll be using weed.io for that. So just go to weed.io and uh, you, you can go add subtitles. Upload the file. Uh, this is the file I just rendered. All right, now this is going to get uploaded. I'll just wait for that. Abhi, now what I'm going to do is I'm done. Ed all right, now I'm done adjusting all the subtitles. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to import a green screen here. All right, so I will go to this and I've just downloaded and I've just downloaded this one green screen. So I'll just import it here. And I'm going to put this over the whole video. All right. And I'll from here, I'm going to put it over the whole video. And click on this burn subtitles only, then it will be exported with the video. All right, now here are the subtitles. I'm going to import the same subtitles in here. Downloads. Downloads. Yes. Uh, 
All right, now go on top of this, go to Fusion, click on this green screen, click on Delta here, and basically background color hold this and select the green color. All right, now you will see the green only the subtitle remains and to remove this weed wala part. What I'm going to do is I will go on crop and I'm just going to crop it out. It's very easy like that. All right, now if you want to adjust the subtitle, you can just go and position it wherever you want. So now we are done with it. All right, I have opened After Effects now. I'm just going to select new composition from footage and I'm going to import the clip I just rendered. All right, now so I'm all right now I'm going to add few layers. So stay with me. So first I'm going to add three adjustment layers. One is going to be the color correction. So I'll name it CC. One is going to be the motion, uh, the blurs. So blur. One is going to be movement. So let's say call this zoom in. All right. And another one which is going to be zoom out. Zoom out. I'm going to name um, pink. I'll color this pink and I'll color this. Let's say peach. Uh, I'll, brown maybe. Yeah. All right. And then I'm going to also add one more thing which is called um. It's a solid layer. I'll name it cinematic. Cool. So now uh, see the effects that I'm going to add. So first one is going to be cinematic opening. Let me know if you guys want me to show you how do I actually make this preset, or if you guys want me to share this preset with you. All right. Although it's very simple. So basically, this is just a black bar opening preset. And what I'm going to do is I'll keep it something like I'll keep these cinematic bars. It gives a little cinematic effect. All right. And now under the CC layer, I have made a CC of my own. So I just usually use that. This is the CC that I will be using. And for the blur, I'm just going to use a simple blur I made for the opening. And yes, you can see this is the blur. Uh, my life is good. Or ऐसा नहीं है कि I don't enjoy my partying, watching movies. All right. So yes, that is it. Now these are all the CC part and everything. And I don't really need that right now. So that is all. So now under the zoom out and zoom in, I also have my own presets. I'll put zoom out. And this is going to be a bit zoom in, a bit uh, simple zoom in. All right, now this is only the simple transitions I'm going to use. I'm not going to use anything very fancy. And I will also be adding one more um, adjustment node. Um, I add a transform node here, and I'm going to keyframe the position. And I'm going to just write wiggle. Uh, let's say one comma five. All right. Now I'm also going to add scale on this, and again I will just write wiggle. Let's say two comma four, or just yeah two comma four. So basically, it's just going to give it a small, very minor camera movement. My life is good. Or ऐसा नहीं है कि I don't enjoy partying, watching movies, or chilling with friends. It's just that I came across this very beautiful quote which says. Book. All right. Now I think the wiggle is too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to scale again. All right, and I'm just going to write wiggle. Uh, one comma three, and under position two, I'll keep it again, which is bigger. One comma five more, yeah, that should be fine. And make sure you enable motion blur on all the clips. And right now I'm disabling it for the better functioning of the software. All right, now basically now I'll be just putting zoom in and zoom out randomly here and there. And yes, that's going to be it. All right, now I'm just going to put the clips here and there, so I'm going to time lapse it. All right. Once we're done adding the subtitles, the next step is going to be to add the clips and the background music. So to make sure things don't get messy, I'm going to create a new bin. All right. And in this bin, I'm just going to import all the images and the videos I want. Now, what I'm what now what I generally do is let's say I'm going to use this clip. All right. So now what I will do is I'll let's say I'll import this clip here. All right. So what I generally do is I generally import this clip here, and now I create another bin which I name as. And now I create another bin and I name it used. All right. So now what I do is so I just drag this used clip here so that now only the the main reason I'm doing this is that I know which clip have been used and which clips are yet to be used. All right. So well, yeah, that's pretty much it. And now I'm just going to add all the clips and I'll see you guys after that. Now I'm just going to add in some overlays. some light leaks and some tiny bit effects all right if you guys want me to make another tutorial on how to do any of this please let me know because if i just go in more depth of how to do each of this the video will get way too long so yes just follow up with me
Well, that's it for this video. In this video, I skipped how I edit my voice for the voiceover. If you guys also want me to show that, please let me know in the comment section. I'll make a separate tutorial for that. So let me know if you guys want me to make the entire video in After Effects or entire video in DaVinci Resolve. I can do any of that. Well, that's it for this video. Let me know if you guys want me to make any more videos or tutorials. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.